Hey, here's what's going on at Tormach this week. So we brought the ZA6 robot and the 1500MX to automate back in May. And we were using the ZA6 and a USB camera, like a little RGB camera, to locate workpieces that were placed on the table and put them into the machine. A lot of other robot machine tending work cells will have like a grid of parts, right? So they have to lay everything out on a grid. It sounds pretty simple, except if your workpiece changes size, then your grid needs to change size. Your user interface needs to support a bunch of different grid layouts. How many rows, how many columns. What if you stop the program in the middle at the fourth row, third column? Now you got to restart it. There's all sorts of complexity there. We thought it would just be easy, especially in today, modern age, if the robot could look at the table and see if there were work pieces there. And if there were work pieces there, it should grab them and put them in the machine. So that's what we brought to automate. We then brought that home and we thought, how can we make this better? So instead of using a camera, we put an inexpensive LiDAR sensor on the robot. LiDAR is a laser range finding sensor. And the cool thing about that is it allows us to stack the work pieces. So you can see here, we just have nine stacks of three work pieces each. That's totally arbitrary. It could be 15 stacks of two work pieces. It could be 30 stacks of five work pieces. Uh, really only limited by the robot's reach. But the LiDAR sensor takes a scan of the entire table it knows what the table looks like. Anything that's not the table, it's able to determine as a workpiece. And it grabs that workpiece, and after it finds it, it sits there waiting patiently for the mill to be done with its operation. And it just kind of does this all day long. So we're actually going to make the rest of the parts that we brought to automate, we're going to put them in stock. And so if you buy a six inch soft jaw from us in the next few months, it's probably going to be leftover stock that we brought to automate. Um, mostly we're doing this for R&D. The eventual goal is just to make machine tending as easy as possible. Uh, and this LiDAR vision-based grasping is just one part of it. The idea being, if you can put, if you can put this on the table, the robot's going to do the rest of the work. So you can see now, cycle is just finishing. Robot's already got a workpiece ready to go. One of the really cool things about having a robot that does, uh, is controlled by PathPilot and a machine tool that's controlled by PathPilot is you can see the robot will do some moves and then the machine tool does some moves. That's actually the robot just issuing MDI commands to the mill. So right now the robot is in full control of the mill and you can see um, like when it goes to pick up this second op workpiece, the mill table actually moves over. It makes it just easier to grab stuff. That kind of tight interconnection between PathPilot mill and PathPilot robot really comes in handy, especially when you're trying to move a robot around in a complex way inside an enclosure. Anyway, robot's just gonna be sitting here doing this for the next little while, so. We will be at IMTS this year. That's uh, September 9th through the 14th. And we'll have the robot and the mill doing a different thing this guy was a little simple. We're doing something a little bit more complex. It's actually a part that we use in production on the MicroArc 6, and we'll be machining that at the show as well. So please come by. We're in the Machine Tool Hall at IMTS the 9th through the 14th if you want to see this in action for yourself. Thanks so much.